Welcome to another tutorial by photoshopeducation.blogspot.com. Today we're going to talk about zoom and panning. There's many different ways in Photoshop CS4 that you can actually zoom in and out of a photo and a few different ways to pan. And after you're said and done with this tutorial, you might have one or two ways that you're going to commonly do it. It's really up to you. It's For me, it's up to the project. Uh, if I'm working on a very large image, I might use one thing. Uh, a different image, I might use something else. But we'll show you most of the zoom and pan features. If you scroll down to the bottom of the blog, you'll notice that there is a uh, support file to this tutorial. That's a picture of a sky. So if you've actually use downloaded this picture before in other tutorials you've already got it if not go ahead and download it and come on back and once you come back let's go ahead and open it it's actually called DSC 03562 and it's a picture of a sky now on the left hand side here is toolbox if you see this magnifying glass that allows you to zoom in and zoom out so left click that and if I left click it's zooming in on a certain area. You'll notice up here is this percentage sign. Basically it's saying right now it's 200% uh, zoomed in. So if I wanted to zoom out, how do you do that? Well, you hold down the Alt key. You'll notice the magnifying glass switch from plus sign to a negative sign. If I left click while holding the Alt, now I'm back to zooming out. There are other ways to zoom out. Let's show you. Uh, there's these buttons at the top. Once you click on the magnifying glass, you'll see actual pixels. So if I took a picture of this uh, photo, this is the actual pixel size, 100%. Or we could do 50 screen, which you're going to see these gray area on the left or right, but it's, it's fitting to the screen completely. Uh, or I could go fill screen and what that's going to do is going to now fill more of the screen or you could do print size if you're going to be printing it and that's how it's going to show pretty much print size and actual pixels are the same buttons but uh, so if you want to go actual pixels notice it doesn't change here let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit on this and one of the ways I'm doing it now is actually holding down the control key using the plus key. That's a keyboard shortcut to actually zoom in. Or I can hold down the control key and hit the hyphen key or the minus key which is right next to the plus key and that zooms out. That's a quick easy way to zoom in and out. But let's see here. Let's zoom in. I'm zoomed in on 400 percent. One quick way if you're over here instead of coming up here and doing actual pixels to go back to 100%, you can double click on this magnifying glass and you'll see it switches to 100%. Now, that is most of the areas of zooming, but let's go over a few more before we get on to panning. Let's say I like this cloud here. I want to zoom in to that specific area and I've got the magnifying glass. I hold down the left mouse button and you'll see these marching ants and you'll see a box get displayed. Release left mouse and you'll see now we've just zoomed into that specific area of the cloud. Nice feature. Another area is zoom in and out and do other pixels, uh, do, do actual pixels and quickly is if you have the magnifying glass selected and you right click on the picture you'll notice a uh, a pop-up box here that says fit to screen, actual pixels, print size, zoom in, zoom out. Now you could do it all up here or you could do it by the magnifying glass or you could do it by a keyboard shortcut, doesn't matter. Photoshop gives you many different ways to zoom in and out. That's really the, the, the basics of zooming in Photoshop. The next area I want to show you where you can actually zoom and indirectly pan is the navigator. Now the navigator is a palette. We discussed palettes in previous tutorials but you can turn it on by going into this window and then left clicking navigator and 
Let's get that back. And you can drag this around. I like it in personally in the top right hand corner. Uh, you want it, want it to be in an area that you can see all the time because you'll be going to it a lot. If you're working with a very large image where the actual pixels are just, I mean, it's it's very high resolution, the navigator will become your friend. If you left click on anywhere, let's say I wanted to look, look here and I'm going to pan over, we'll say, yeah, I could move my mouse over there and uh, drag it and move the scroll bars, or I could just left click on this image and you'll notice I jumped quickly right to it. Left click again, it jumps right to it. You'll notice on the bottom is a percentage sign. Right now it's at 100% as we can see. And then there's this scroll bar. Uh, that scroll bar is a slider, it's a zoom slider. If you scroll to the right, you're zooming in. If you scroll to the left, you're zooming out. And you'll notice as you scroll in, this red box will get smaller and smaller and smaller because you only can fit that much on the actual screen. So let's go over to this cloud. There's that cloud at 201%. Now you could change, technically change the percentage here on how much you want zoomed in. I find it much easier to actually use a slider. You don't actually have to hold down them. You can actually left click anywhere on it. It will automatically zoom in, zoom out to that specific area. But if you're trying to fine tune it, you can hold down the left mouse button and drag it left to right and you can zoom in and out. Now the other area is panning. Panning is, well we've, if I left click on this, I've just panned over real quickly. You can do that through the navigator or you can use the scroll bars. Now you'll notice an up arrow here, down arrow here, and then this bar. If I hold down the left mouse button, drag it down, and release the left mouse button, you'll notice I've just panned down. Or if I do want to do small increments, I can actually use the up or down arrow on the scroll bar, and now I'm doing small increments going down or up. You also have it left to right. You can scroll this to the left or right. Uh, once again, use the left or right buttons to fine tune it in your position. But there's also another way, and it's actually called the hand tool to pan around. Now this is a nice feature, I, I use this a lot, is if you left click on this hand tool and you actually hold down the left mouse and you drag it down or any direction, you can now pan to a specific area. Instead of trying to do this on the sc uh, scroll bars, down and left and right, this allows you to drag it every which way you want, any which way. So how you do it is if you want this image, this cloud to be down here, you're going to hold down the left mouse button and drag it down to the bottom right. That is how you pan within Photoshop. One way you can get to the hand tool is actually by hold, using the keyboard shortcut of H. So if I left click on the zoom tool and I hit uh, type in H, voila, I'm on the hand tool. You can see the hand. So that is everything you want to know about zooming and panning. It's more than enough uh, features to, that you can play with and maybe you'll find one or two really key areas on how quickly you can zoom in and zoom out or pan within Photoshop CS4. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial and have a wonderful day.